Welcome back into another Dragon Ball Super Card Game video. And today you saw the title, finally have a ban list. It has been a long time coming. We have nationals in about a month or so, uh, the beginning of December. And we have been waiting for a while. And personally, I haven't really been doing any deck profiles, or at least I have done decks. I just haven't been releasing them because I already knew there's gonna be a ban list coming and I didn't know what the hell was on it. And this one, is interesting i will say that <laughs> this list came out on the official facebook group and they updated the website around 5 48 in the morning so uh thanks bandai <laughs> this is uh effective i do believe immediately so today while we feel that playing with these changes will allow the most enjoyment of the dbs ccg uh, we also respect the players that have been prepared for any event visual events this weekend so basically saying these will not be affected for the Zenkai um, uh, Zenkai Cup or anything going on this weekend, which includes, I believe, the PPG event. So first, we're going to just go to the strategy page because that actually has all of the banned cards and the explanations for it, or at least a little bit of a description. Um, and, and again, uh, this is effective immediately, but not for this weekend's events. Uh, it has two banned cards, one limited and five errated which is quite a lot of erratas like people really don't like erratas i don't personally like erratas like more of a limited and semi-limited basis but uh erratas are interesting and the first one that we do see for the ban card list is the heartfelt plea which is interesting because um we already limited it to one and i don't think that was really much of an issue if you saw it, you saw it it's more of like a secret rare at this point which is kind of like the whole reason for limited cards in the first place but uh, it says, uh, in the presence of our fill plea has been monitored uh, since it was first limited. And due to the higher powers and card cards making this easier to play before, we've been uh, decided to ban this card. So it makes sense that uh, the fact that um, you can awaken easier pretty much in every deck, it doesn't matter if you're red or not. Uh, and you can also play out bigger and better red cards uh, easier than before. So you, you end up paying one <laughs> one energy for an eight cost nowadays or two energy for uh, a 25k. So like it, it's super easy, especially in pan. Like if you if you see this in pan, and you end up um, flipping an awakening. If you saw this in um, uh, San Diego regionals where Tim play shows actually just like popped off uh, and just killed like turn two or three uh, with heartfelt plea against, uh, I believe the sin player. I, I, I don't remember. It was either sin player or blue player. I, uh, it was a while ago, but I do have the playlist up there in the corner, whatever you'll figure it out. Either way, heartfelt plea. I, I understand if you, uh, if you see it, it feels bad uh, for the opponent. Uh, and especially since that opponent probably can't do the same thing. Like, Get an offering and a free 30k new ruler was uh kind of whack because <laughs> there's also a limited thing this is the same reasoning where and to increase uh diversity in deck building decided to ban the card uh i think this is a definitely hit to red cards like heartfield plea was like kind of whatever but like a new ruler was definitely a big extension for red cards this this is also a, a card where like i was surprised that uh we had it at four right like it's just the same thing as power of the super saiyan uh i was super surprised that we had it at a four um and i was happy to see it at a one because if you see it at a one there's enough answers to kind of get around this uh plus it doesn't really have that much that much protection right um so i i don't really see the reasoning for this in in this format or at least this like age of dragon ball but whatever right if you want to neuter a little bit to red this is kind of be it's going to be one of the things to do another very interesting one is uh <laughs> merciless barrage so i was gonna do a whole video on it but i decided not to um but basically uh so <laughs> to <laughs> inhibits the power level decks aiming to play many battle cards and including several strategies present in the zenkai series allows these to be playable we're limiting this card so a Vegix buff. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, no one was really playing this card over Videl anyway. Um, but if you were playing the two cost uh, Gogeta Unison, uh, this is probably a good like option to play. Uh, so I understand that. Uh, it also is, again, going back to what I was saying before about me making the video, that Union Patora ended up uh, getting a little bit of a ruling change or at least ruling clarification through um, uh, the official judges where basically it hits the targets right before uh, Union Patora is uh, is finished. So you can have the two uh, one cost uh, uh, Vegito cards, the Goku and Vegeta, and then it'll hit those die in the Patora 
uh, card on top of it will not actually finish uh, going through. So that's that's one of the reasons why they probably did this. Um, and, and probably, like it says, like there's a lot of deck ar archetypes that actually play a lot of cards uh, for skills. So like the new Lord Slug um, and uh, just new Zenkai decks that are coming out. Wow, this one is a long time coming. So this is a bean. You don't really need to read all of this. Uh, we kind of already knew what Bean did and we sort of just accepted it, right? Like in blue, we just accepted it, but it really just became a problem when you just threw Bean into another issue or another uh, deck, right? So if it's like blue, red, uh, yellow, blue, you know the deal where you have a, such an extension on both turns, uh, giving yourself a, a 20k leader or uh, just giving yourself an extra energy to work with. Uh, this was something like since it got released where uh, we probably should have done something about this like 10 sets ago. But hey, hey we're going into set 19 and probably set 20 after that. And then we'll see what happens. But basically, this is only on your opponent's turn where you can give it yourself uh, another energy in 5k. So yeah, uh, this is probably in response to the new Gohan deck. Uh, you can only you can only have up to three cards when you draw on both turns, right? Uh, and and being on both turns is pretty nuts. Like you can just dump your hand, play all these battle cards out, and then being, uh, especially if you draw into it. So I, I think this is uh, probably the move. I, I think this is uh, this is a good uh, errata. This is probably something that uh, again, this has been a long time coming, and I've I've talked about it before. And uh, the, uh, the the DBS extremists always said no to these, uh, but uh, just design and health of the game, this, this makes sense. What doesn't make sense is this one. Uh, so Violet Rays is now errated to go to 30K for unison and battle cards. Uh, I don't really agree with this one. Uh, I, I think, yes, Violet Rays is a super powerful card. It stops turns, sure. and. Honestly, it will still allow red deck players to stop the highest power attacks, but not interfere with all strategies. So I think the the idea is that like, you know, these eight costs, these uh, uh, ultimate cards, uh, anything that's like super big, uh, which is super easy to play again, um, uh, will be stopped and probably become like more of a sideboard card. But because it did stop turns and because there's so many 20k cards uh, like from the rush attack Vegeta uh, to the cell Z, Z battle card, all these Zenkai based like sort of cards uh, just got hurt by it. Right. And I, I guess it's just, again, to promote the product and as well as just to make sure like, hey, if you want to play a new deck, Violent Rays is not going to be an issue if you just play some of your bigger boys, some of my big boys uh being 20k power or more so again another neuter to red which i do agree with this is uh, a, a little bit more of a defensive thing uh where you can't like both uh yamcha as well as violent rays is more of a defensive hit uh and we're gonna get to the point of two more defensive cards here too <laughs> but violent rays being at 30k is uh i, I it kind of makes sense I, I don't personally like it but it, it kind of does make sense of being 30k or more to josh uh sucks for him because now you can't you have to place it into your energy and rest mode. So like the uh, the whole point was that if you had one in your energy, uh, as in you you play it for the activate main, and then you had another one in your hand and you had another energy to use, you can just draw one because you're using, you're fulfilling the rest of the text. Uh, so you don't have, you can't play it in rest mode because the, um, the permanent says you can't switch this, or auto, I'm sorry. Uh, when you place this card in your energy, you can't place cards in your energy for the turn. So you fulfill the rest of the interaction uh which was not intended silver dude is only a vegeto card so uh hey vegeto is still tier one man like <laughs> no not really but so vegeto is still a really good deck because of this card and this probably should have been printed as this anyway uh i don't i don't think they they understood the implications of any 15k a uh, card not being played as a counterplay in red and uh you can splash any red or red in any deck and just having one one cost so now we're probably moving towards begrudging as a uh, more generic uh counterplay so like if you just play that for one uh when you're four or less or just for two that's still a pretty good counterplay uh for really any deck so resolve renewed no more body no more 5k um uh, for free no more one cost hey don't play that topo uh 
uh, green topo booth uh, card if anybody's playing that <laughs> or really anything there, there's like the, this is really this is really good for com uh, combo starters so like anything in like uh android 13 for the new deck um you can prevent uh the 13 being played i, I think that's a, a really good example of why they they got re that removed or eradicated it uh cr crown hey we 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 thought that it was going to be three cost or more uh, we thought, or three energy or more, we thought is going to be banned. No, it's, it's errated. It's going to be errated to this it can be played for any scare, uh, skills from any area. Uh, it's been po too powerful when playing for the energy cost without paying your energy cost. We decided errated to balance it out. So this is the last card where, okay, cool. Um, awesome. It prevents Gogeta, but, uh, now you still have a check for all the blue cards. I think that's, that's what it is. Like, Hey, you can't play for free. Uh, I mean, we were able to play it for free through the Red Bardock Leader. I don't see why it's an issue now where you provided a, a, a unison for every red deck to play. Um, and you realize, hey, wait a second, that, that we probably should have done something to crown first. <laughs> we we made a, a red deck uh, in, in Bardock that was kind of mid. We were like, eh, whatever. Who cares if you play it for free? And now uh, also you, play, you made it in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. <laughs> so Gogeta Yusin can play in any red deck and then go uh one of the the best decks in the format uh Super Saiyan 4 or Gogeta you can play it for free at any point so like okay cool man I, I at least again another defensive and offensive uh, uh tool for red and overall it's okay I think these these hits to red are okay there's a lot of hits to red nothing to yellow which you know I'm not gonna talk about yellow man I not really there's no boo unison which is kind of whack because even for me, man, like I've been, I've been working on that Harutagon deck and, uh, uh, I, I threw in a couple of blue unisons, even though it doesn't seem right for the, for the, uh, uh, the energy curve, but, uh, it is such a really good card. So like, it's, 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 uh, it's those type of things that don't really make any sense. I'm also uh, a little bit confused that the, uh, red sin and as well as, uh, red Gogeta, super saiyan four. Goku Vegeta uh, didn't really get any hits either. Um, that's that's a little weird because they should have probably added a little bit of interaction with uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, maybe limited uh, Red Sin or um, maybe added a Rata for the life to be taken when awakening. Um, I mean, there's there's a couple things they could have done. Uh, I, th I think just in general, uh, those decks are, are not so much of like too powerful. Um, they're just not really cool to interact with right so like when you're building a deck either competitively or casually um you have to consider like okay cool i have all these barrier cards cool i have all all of these uh cards that you know uh can end the game pretty quickly um but if you can't go against the the union fusion super saiyan 4 gogeta um and it, it just clears your board and then you don't really have any answers in your hand then you're taking that to face and that feels bad, right? Or if you're trying to play um, some sort of green deck or black deck and you're going against anything red or anything sin, then you can't keep up with it and most of your stuff is going to get removed. So all that all of that feels really bad. Uh, it also adds into it that uh, both red sin and as well as Gogeta uh, are super easy to play. Like when you when you pick it up, it's uh, the ceiling is not too bad, uh, but the floor is really low, right? So um, those are really uh, two annoying things about, um, the format and as well as just competitively to deal with. And, uh, we're going to see that in nationals. Uh, we're going to see that in the upcoming events as well. There, there's not going to be much of a change as far as the format, but I will say set 19 has some cool stuff. Um, uh, blue Gohan is really cool. Uh, I think yellow slug has some legs. I think green Gogeta is awesome. Uh, I just don't think, I mean, with this, this, uh, this, this ban limited, whatever for, uh, for Yamcha, I think that's that's gonna be pretty good for it. But either way, let me know what you think in the in the comments below. I'm gonna start ranting. I I, I wanted this to be like more of a, um, I'm just gonna talk video anyway. But <laughs> let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new and like this, like all that other stuff. I'll see you in the next one.